Well, I am so thrilled to be joined with Eric Allen Kramer and Bradley Stephen Perry. The three names, I'm not yeah. going to lie to you. You Throws know what it out. is? Somebody <laughs> beat me into the union. That's what I was explaining. Eric Kramer, was Eric Kramer yeah. beat me into the union, and I did my first, the first gig I ever got out here, I did as Eric Kramer, and the union came <laughs> down on me like I had, uh, I don't know, stolen everybody's dues. <laughs> And, uh, and so they were like, well, just change your name. I'm yeah. like, no, I'm not, it's my name. Okay. So I wound so up changing my middle name. There was a Bradley Perry, too. And you search Bradley Perry on Google, nothing comes up. Bradley Darn him. Stephen Perry. There it is. That is but, so and like we looked on IMDb, there's not a Bradley Perry out there. He did like one bit uh, yeah. part sometime yeah. and he ruined it for you. <laughs> Well, what I love about Good Luck Charlie is the fact that it has such a light, fun energy to the show. What would you guys credit that light, fun energy to? I would have to say uh, probably the wrestling matches that we have offset. I think we get our, <laughs> I think we get all our aggression out there. We have a ring that we have set up just oh, outside the house. We have the octagon. So any outside. tension, any fights, any arguments, yeah. all gets taken out like in the Ultimate octagon. Fighter style. And by the time if, we get back on set, if we're you don't, if you don't like the episode, completely calm. We call the the riders into the octagon, right? And we just have a ten minute fight, and we're all good. And then it's all good. I, you know what? Honestly, I think what it is is that uh, is that uh, I, I, you know I like to think of Good Luck Charlie as sort of the family sitcom coming back. Oh yeah. And uh, what's 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 nice about it is that we tend to reflect what really goes on in families, which isn't always, you know, it's not uh, the house doesn't blow up every week, but it becomes about it becomes about parents dealing with kids, kids dealing with right. parents, and it becomes about real issues, which keeps it on a which keeps it on yeah. that level. And I think that's when I think our show operates best when we're when we're a, a family solving family problem. Well, and I think Bob's character is so great because he parents with such humor and humility, and he kind of teaches parents, like, don't take yourself so seriously, and not, I don't know, it's just, it, he's a good parent role model. Well, I think there is a, uh, you know, there is a... The Bob's the, the most normal. Bob's the most normal. <laughs> Which is, is... We've never really followed Bob out to the garage, though. So. <laughs> um, I think, uh, yeah, I think... Uh, I think I think the one thing about Bob, and it's the one sort of advice I give to any parent, is that you have to take your ego out of it. Like you just you just have to accept the fact that you are going to be wrong. You are going to make right. perhaps not the best decision, and sometimes you're just not going to know. And sometimes your kids are going to know better than you. And the other thing is that sometimes you just have to let the kids make their own mistakes yeah. to learn. And so instead of uh, and so instead of trying to always be on top of that and drive that, um, you know, it's more about walking alongside your kid through that journey, and uh, you know, and just and helping them out the best you can. Yeah. Do you take any of Bob into your personal life? Oh, when I first read for this, when I first auditioned, everything that was on the page was everything that I had said in my own home that morning. So uh, yeah, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of Bob that 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 is from me, and that's actually from my dad. So I I feel that whole I feel that whole line uh, in that character. You here, honey? I, I'll I'll meet you guys in Palm Springs. I'll probably just be a couple hours behind you. I have to go with her, right? Uh huh. Whoa. Yes. There we go. Yeah, baby. Where's your mom? So Bradley, you guys took the whole Good Luck Charlie cast out of the studio and to do the Good Luck Charlie It's Christmas, which premieres December second on Disney yes. Channel. So what was that like? Getting getting out and with the Duncans and shooting a movie? Yes, you know, it was really cool. You know, we had always talked about like we should go we should go on a vacation together. Like as a as you know, because we're really close. And to be able to, that kind of knocked it out. It was like we we went on a vacation together. And it, it was different. There were pros and there were cons to filming off the soundstage mm -hmm. and being away from home for two months. But it, otherwise, it was it was great. It was, you know, it was really fun being up. We had a great hotel. Our so hotel it was, was good awesome. except for all the bad stuff? Yeah, basically. <laughs> 
That's how things go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so in your character, Gabe, he develops a special relationship with his grandfather. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, Gabe, as a video gamer, he is, he brought that to Palm Springs and he taught his grandpa how to really get into video games and his grandpa just went crazy. He was playing online, he was playing all night long and then he like throws me into a room where we're stuck sitting there for a day or something like that and he goes... Yeah, without getting into too much detail, there are a lot of extremes that happen <laughs> during the course yeah. of the movie. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the characters' personalities get taken to the to the nth degree on certain occasions. I lost my best friend today. Oh, I'm so sorry, kiddo. Oh, what was his name? C Station Deluxe Home Gaming System. Oh, heck, I got one of those. What? Oh, you're the greatest grandpa in the history of grandpas. <laughs> so what games do you have? Golf. And? What more would I need? Oh, Grandpa, put down your putter. There's a whole other world out there.